Hey, welcome back to my channel, His Love, Her Home. And today, we are going to take a look at Saxon Math Homeschool 7 slash 6. So this bundle, which I got from Rainbow Books, I will link that below, cost me about 85, I believe. That was the best price I found with Rainbow Books. It comes with the textbook. It comes with tests and worksheets. It comes with the solution manual. So we don't really need to look at the solution manual, but you, it comes with it. So if we open up the book, let's take a look. So it starts with the contents. And there are a total of 120 lessons. And there's 180 days. So you can kind of take your time. And with every 120, uh, with every 10 lessons, I mean, there's an investigation. So it says solving each problem day after day is the secret to success. It starts out telling you, congratulations. Only Saxon helps you teach the way your child learns best, step by step. It tells their philosophy, basically how you're gonna do your lesson, incremental, incremental development, continual review. And then it goes on to the program's components. As I already told you, it comes with tests and worksheets book and a solution manual book and the textbook. So let's talk about what the lessons look like. Program overview, lessons, 120 lessons divided into four sections, warm up, new concepts, lesson practice, and mixed practice. So warm-ups, it says takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, new concepts, five to 15 minutes. Lesson practice, 10, five to 10 minutes. Mixed practice, 20 to 40 minutes. So you could spend up to two hours doing math if you so choose to, or you can do the less, take less time to do it investigations investigations are in depth and treatment of the concepts that often involve activities because of the length of investigation no warm-up or mixed practice is included when you do investigations and then it tells you about the test there's also a email that you could email if you need information or help with whatever you're doing the next thing they show you for this is a list of materials. Um, looking at this, there's a ruler and a protractor, a compass, calculator, graph paper, scissors, um, tag board, dot cubes. Just taking a quick look at this, these are most of these things you can get from the dollar store. So that is a good thing because you won't be spending tons of money to find the materials that you need for the lesson or the investigations so let's go through one lesson lesson one adding whole numbers and money subtracting whole numbers and money fact families part one so this is the warm-up it says fact practice mental math and problem solving so that's why it kind of gives you a five to 15 minutes because you can choose one or choose to do all of them up to you do the warm-up spend more time on the warm-up put less time into the other part, however you want to do it. New concept, so this is basically what you would go over with your child, or if they are very independent, they can do it by themselves. They don't understand, you know, that's when you step in and help them. And then lesson practice. Lesson practice doesn't look like a lot, this one only has A through F, so that's not a lot of practice. This should be quick for most kids to do. Um, mixed practice, I see mixed practice is about 25 
um, question. So that might take a little bit longer if you're planning on doing all of it. For me, I'll probably depend on how my child does with the lesson practice. And then whatever problem, if they get something wrong in this area, I would pick problems from the mixed practice that are the same and let them work on those instead of just doing all of it. So that is an example of one of the lessons. And then it keeps going on and on. Let me see if I can get to an investigation for you. After every 10 lessons, there's an investigation. So let me go back one. Here we go. Investigation one. So frequency tables, histograms, and survey. So it starts out with a word problem. It gives you a chart and you have to answer these questions. And then another chart, more questions, charts, a survey, more questions. So the investigations don't seem too hard, but you're just investigating and digging deeper basically into math and learning based off of these charts, how to come up with answers, how to figure out who, what, where, why, you know, those type of things. Um, yeah. I definitely picked out Saxon because I did want to give my children a bigger push this year. This is just a test and worksheets. And I'll just flip through a couple of these pages. Test and worksheets. So yeah, they are very much about, Saxon is very much about practice, 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 which I like, which is why I went with them. It's kind of, I wanted my kids to have more practice with math. Last year I used master books and I felt like it did not have enough in it. So if you did like this, take a look, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. This Saxon math was for seventh, this is for sixth grade. Yes, seven slash six. This is for sixth grade. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.